Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Prince from NataBase, and I'm going to share with you how the idea of NataBase started. So, software plays a very vital role in the economical development of countries. But still, hiring a great software developer is still a problem amongst tech companies. And this is because the current models people use in hiring software developers is flawed. It's either it is too expensive, or you just cannot ensure the quality of the software developers. Companies spend weeks, months, trying to hire software developers. I personally interviewed 72 software developers just to hire one. Statistics have shown that to one good software developer, there are five job openings. This is bad. What if this was better, and what if this was faster? Natabase is connecting tech companies to software developers from anywhere in the world. And we're doing this with the use of a proprietary product management tool that helps companies track the speed and accuracy of software developers from anywhere. Our tool helps companies increase the efficiency of software development by 80% and help you cut down software development timeline by up to 60%. So if you currently spend six months building a software product, with my tool, you could spend six weeks building a software product. We successfully help a lot of companies in Nigeria save funds and save time building software product. Last week, we were able to build a full, comp a full product that should be completed in three months, in three weeks. We've done this successfully for a couple of companies in Nigeria, such as Visionscape, Beggar Paint, Heritage Bank, and the likes. We've made $130,000 in revenue, We've completed 30 projects in the last six months. Our business model is pretty simple. We take 25% of our developers' hourly wage, so I like to think we're not greedy. The market is huge, and it grows by 25% every year. Right now, there are over 500 on few developer roles out there, except, of course, Natabase fills them. We have a couple of competitions in the market that are doing amazingly well, Andela, X-Team, Indies. Most of you in Nigeria know X-Team and Andela. But then what makes Natabase different from X-Team and Andela is the fact that we have a tool that helps these companies work with these developers from anywhere without we having to put these developers in our office space. So these developers can work from the comfort of their own home, and these companies can get full visibility, full control, full access to whatever these developers are doing. Tracking without still affecting these developers' natural habitat. We have plans to connect more developers in Africa to companies in the UK, in the US, and still companies in Nigeria. But then we have one little problem. It costs us a lot of money to get these companies, to get software, to get great software developers on our platform. Because then they have to go through our curriculums, they have to go through our tests, and then we have to bring them on board. Although we've been able to reduce the cost by building a platform that helps us access software, develop, access software developers and get the best out of the thousands. It costs us right now, it costs us about $20 to hire or to pre-qualify one software developer. So what we're going to use the $10,000, if we win it, to do is to pre-qualify 500 software developers and connect them to companies in, in Nigeria and Africa. We have an amazing team that's going to help us achieve this. I personally have seven years of experience in software development and marketing. Kenny, my, my, my engineering manager, has spent five years in software development, has worked with companies like Andela, and Data World. Shewa, our head of marketing, is a marketing genius. She's done marketing for big brands in Nigeria. She's had three years' experience in marketing, and then she's done really well in marketing already. So Natabase is not just some other tech company that's trying to change the world. We're a movement that impacts life. And I want everyone, software developers, businesses, to be a part of our movement. Thank you. Hi, thank you. Um, Hi. Okay. Um, so talk to us about your technology, like what exactly does the technology do? And also about your onboarding process, what does it entail? Okay, so um, let me start with the onboarding process. So I like to say the difference between a very good developer or the difference between African developers and world-class developers is very little. 
there are some fundamental programming factors that people need to consider to be really good at software development. So what we do is we currently have a network of about 5,000 5, software developers, and then we have them go through certain curriculums, and then they go through our test. Now, if they pass the test, they get into, my, they get into our platform. Now, what our platform does is it tracks their speed and their accuracy. Accuracy in the sense that how good, how well do they write codes, how well do they deliver on task, what they are thinking, how do they think towards problem solving. Now, their speed, how fast do they do that? After we, accept, after, we, after we get this data, the system automatically calculates how much a developer is going to earn per hour based on their speed and their accuracy. So if a company wants to work with a developer in Nigeria, you only have to choose the proficiency of that developer, and we tell you how much that developer earns per hour, and then you can start working with that developer. Now, what makes my two cut-down timelines is when a company wants to build a product on the platform, the platform automatically breaks down that product into small chunks. I'll source it to multiple developers on the platform, hundreds and hundreds of developers on the platform, and they all work on bits of this project. Now the platform put it back together to create a full product. Huh? Yeah. OK, it's on. Uh, my question around is around the 25% that you take out of um, our developers' hourly rates. So what sort of infrastructure are you providing for um, the developer and, and also what sort of oversight for the client? So how is the reporting being done? Um, how are you justifying taking 25%? Sorry, I didn't get that question. How are you justifying taking 25% of developers' hourly rates? My main question is, what is the sort of infrastructure? So what, what do you provide the client? As in, are you just connecting them and okay, then overseeing? Okay. okay. And what do you provide the developer for ongoing training? Okay, one for the developer, apart from ongoing training, because right now we have a partnership with Treehouse, and um, we also have a peer-to-peer -peer mentorship platform that developers use to learn from other developers on the platform. But apart from that, um, what we give to these developers is access, opportunities to better jobs. Um, even after taking, even after taking the twenty-five percent from the developers' pay, they end up earning more than they would normally earn working for companies that they go to themselves. So we have been in cases where we find software developers in Abuja, in, so in Sokoto, in the north, and the likes, where they earn as low as um, seventy to one hundred and twenty k. Senior developers that end up that, that low, but then when we connect them to companies in Lagos, they earn as high as one hundred and fifty to two hundred and something k. Now, if we're going to be connecting these developers to companies in the UK, in San Francisco, they're going to be earning a lot more. And now, what we do for the companies is, it's a problem working with remote developers. Working with remote developers, you have to track their timelines. Time tracking is very important. Quality of work is very important. Um, collaboration, communication, and all is very important. And that's what my platform gives. My platform, it, it's in, the platform integrates to a developer's working environment. And I can tell you the developer is working or not. So if you're working, I know. If you're not working, I know. And you pay them per hour, so we can tell if they actually worked for the hours they're claiming they worked for. You could also tell the quality of their work. You could also ensure that none of these developers working remotely have full access to your source code. So the platform ensures they only have access to the bits they are working on. So protecting the company's IP and helping work with remote teams in peace. All right, thank you. Just a quick one. So you mentioned, um, you mentioned from the customer's perspective, they have full visibility. Can you tell us more about that? Full visibility? Yeah, that I should explain a, de more. a developer can be working back home, right? But the customer can have, uh, or the, whoever is working, he's working for can have full visibility or transparency on what's going on yep. in the back end, right? Can you yep. tell us more about that? Okay, so like I said earlier, you track their working hours, you could track their work rates. You could track if they are working right now, so speaking or not. You could track what their contribution is to the project that they are working on. You could track what the quality of their code is like, because um, we have two different levels of code check. Um, we have the human factor and the automated factor, whereby the moment you write a code, my platform knows if you followed certain um, fundamental principles. So we check that, and then we report that back to the client immediately. Um, there are a lot more data. 
right, gathered for the client. I might not be able to go deep into it, but then we could do, you could also track the full pro process of your project down to the small method that this developer is working on. So I can tell, hey, you're, you're working on this class and you've worked on this specific method. So I'm going really technical, but then you could tell how well this developer has worked. So you, you could really look into the developer's mind and No more questions? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.